short term debt is paid within a year and is accounted for as current liabilities in the balance sheet, either as accounts payable or short term debt. Accounts payable or AP is related to suppliers' invoices that need to be paid, and short term debt involves a financial institution, like your credit card, a bank, or another lender. The first type of short term debt is self generating debt. That is money you owe for the use of products or services that you haven't paid but have used. For example, the payment of a consultant, electricity, or that computer that you bought with your credit card. In the case of accounts payable, most suppliers and vendors provide short-term financing in the form of credit terms. For example, a net 30 invoice means that you have 30 days to make payment without incurring an interest charge. A term 2 slash 10 net 30 means that you will receive a 2% discount if you pay within 10 days. The full amount is due within 30 days, and there are interest charges if you pay after that. Accounts payable to a client are accounts receivable to the supplier. And here's a tip for you from my experience. Collecting payments can be very expensive. Add a note to your invoices that say, buyer agrees to pay for collection expenses for invoices due over 90 days. You can also consider factoring, which we cover in unfunding mechanisms. Credit cards are a form of revolving debt, meaning that the amount of credit available is a function of the outstanding balance on a line of credit. Payments reduce the amount owed, interest increase it. Principal and accrued interest must be paid until the owed balance is zero. Credit cards are especially appropriate for debt that occurs on a monthly basis, such as fuel and material costs. Another type of short debt is a line of credit. This is a very flexible type of credit extended by a bank or financial institution to a company and can take the form of a cash credit, overdraft, term loan, demand loan, export packing credit, discount, or purchase of commercial bills. A company can tap into this resource when a need arises. Even though this represents a reservoir of available capital, interest is only owed on the money actually borrowed, not on the value of the line of credit. This type of credit is usually used for short-term needs and is paid back in a short period of time. A letter of credit is different than a line of credit. It is a trade loan issued by a bank to an international exporter of goods. The terms of the letter specify an amount of money that can be collected when the letter is presented to a bank. Often the letter must be accompanied by certain documents, such as bills of sale that evidence a sales transaction. The purpose of the letter of credit is to ensure that an exporter receives payment, not to negotiate sales and transactions, and it's not a loan.